Last week, Astropad 2.0 came out, and there's some subtle refinements that make it a little bit nicer to use. If you've never heard of Astropad or don't know what it is, I've done a review for it before. Uh, check it out right here. Um, and, and I talk through all that stuff and my kind of general impressions of it. Today, I'm going to be just talking about the update, what they've added, and some of the changes that they've made. Now, most of these updates that they're making are under the hood. These are performance updates to just make it a little bit better as opposed to just piling on new features. Now, the main thing I want to talk about is that the engine that they're using, they call it the Liquid engine is three times faster than what they were using before to render on the screen. So what does that mean? Well, in the past, what that meant in AstroPad is that there was some pixelation when you were opening up menus or when you were drawing, uh, and it was just trying to render from your Mac to your iPad via Wi-Fi or USB cable. There was a little bit of latency there. Now that's not totally gone, but you can definitely tell that it's better, especially when you're opening menus and that sort of thing. It's much quicker to kind of render that sort of thing. Now it's not totally gone. I still notice it, especially if I'm drawing fast or drawing in a complicated area uh, really quickly. I'll still see some of that pixelation happening, which will make me occasionally pause, let it render, and then I'll keep drawing. Another improvement is that it uses less of the CPU's power, and I've also noticed that the battery life is a little bit better. Those are technically two different features, but I think that there is a relationship there. I compare AstroPad to like some of the games I run in terms of like how many much battery life it has. AstroPad is going to run down your battery faster than say a drawing program like Procreate or Sketchbook. But with these improvements, they have made that battery life a little bit better. In the past, I've plugged AstroPad in via USB cable, but that way it's charging and it remains charged while I'm using it, but this just buys me more time to use it. I mean, you're still gonna get several hours worth of use out of it, um, but it is nice to know that it's not uh, using quite as much of the battery. Another thing they've added is a more refined pressure curve when you're drawing. I'm gonna be completely honest here, I didn't really notice. I thought the pressure curve was pretty good before, but if you're a stickler for that sort of thing, it has been changed and refined. They've also added some shortcuts for programs like Affinity Designer, Art Rage, Clip Studio, Paint, Lightroom, Mischief, and Sketchbook. This is awesome because in Photoshop, one of my favorite things about AstroPad is that uh, even though most of the interface things don't work with touch, they've disabled them when you're using the stylus, uh, which is kind of nice, so you're not accidentally changing layers or opening menus or that sort of thing. But they have enabled this way of pinching and zooming. So if I want to zoom quickly, I can just whoop, go right in. Now previously, this was available in Photoshop. I think it's available in Illustrator as well, uh, but it's really nice that they've added it to these other programs too, because it's one of my favorite features in AstroPad. That covers most of the features, at least the ones that I really am like passionate about. I love these kind of incremental refinements. It would have been really easy to pile on a bunch of new features that I probably would never use, but the fact that they're spending time taking what works with the program and just refining it, making it better, making it quicker, that's awesome. That's great. I know I'm gonna get this question in the comments, so I'm going to answer it here in the video first. And that question is, is should I get an iPad Pro with this app instead of getting something like a Cintiq? All right, so if you already have a Cintiq, this might actually feel like a little bit of a downgrade, just a tiny bit. It's so close, but you are going to be noticing things like a little bit of latency on the brushes. You're gonna notice things like the pixelation of the menus and the brushes and that sort of thing as well. You might miss things like physical buttons. Even though AstroPad has this neat little slide out tray that shows like these little software buttons along the side where you can put your brushes and, and pretty much customize and put whatever you want there. There's something really nice about having a tablet which has those physical buttons that you can rest your hand on and they're just a touch away that you don't have to look at them to press them. Now, if you already have an iPad Pro and Apple Pencil, you need to get this. Now, if you're one of those people who is going to use it occasionally, you know, photo editing, drawing, sketching, occasionally drawing something big, uh, you know, on the desktop, I think this works really well for you. And you also have an iPad that you can do all the other iPad things like run other drawing software, or you can read on it, watch video on it, play music on it, and all that other stuff. I should also point out I have only used this with the Apple Pencil. I am kind of meh on other styluses available for the iPad. I've written reviews, I'll post those here in the video and in the description. Um, but yeah, for the most part, uh, the Apple Pencil is what really makes AstroPad shine, in my opinion. If I wasn't reviewing these other tablets and didn't already have them at hand, I would probably be able to get away with just a Mac laptop and an iPad Pro using AstroPad. I could, I could pull that off. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, that's what the comments are for. That's why they're called comments. And of course, I have Twitter, and you can like this and subscribe and blah, 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 blah. And that's it. I'll see you next week.